President Trump will be flying into Sanford Airport later tonight. Vice President Mike Pence is in Orlando, was in Orlando this weekend, and his wife, Second Lady Karen Pence, stopped in Tampa today. As Election Day draws closer, the campaign is heating up for sure in the Sunshine State. Eight on your side's Jeff Patterson joins us now live in Tampa with more. Hey, Jeff. Good evening, Josh. Time to fire up the faithful, especially here in Tampa. Today, Second Lady Karen Pence told her supporters that this election is going to be close. Speaking at a small private venue in Hillsborough County, Second Lady Karen Pence came out swinging for President Trump. This president is all about promises made and promises kept. Speaking on everything from today's Supreme Court nominee hearing. This president promised to nominate a conservative woman to the Supreme Court and he kept his promise to the economy you are witnessing the great american comeback in the sunshine state florida added more than 631,000 jobs over the last four months it's just what this crowd of mostly women voters and all trump supporters wanted to hear she's a very reserved very compassionate lady and i believe she's one of the best second ladies we've ever had in the crowd, Republican congressional candidate in the 14th district, Christine Quinn. We are definitely the pivotal state right now, and so it is very important for everyone to get out and vote. Every vote will matter. And that was the message the second lady really came to deliver. It's going to come down to the wire. Every vote, every dollar, every phone call, every knock on the door could make the difference. For their part, the Democrats put out a statement this weekend upon Vice President Mike Pence's visit to Orlando saying that they denounced the president's failed leadership and disastrous misman mismanagement of the COVID-19 crisis. In Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.